Discovery 3 Discovery 3 8.3.6 this is planning configuring verifying standard extended and named ACLs so what we have to do is configure VTY access for remote access security and then we need to create standard extended and named ACLs for the rest of our network so what we got a little chart here and I think what we have to do is build one for the interface the Ethernet interface 1.1 to the ZIS server so we want to permit London clients to reach the London network resources permit London clients to reach the London web server we want permit to permit DC clients to reach the London web server and somehow we need to keep DC clients from pinging the London network resources so I've applied that to the router interface FA0 1.1 in the outbound direction okay and we need to create another list called the 160 access list and this concerns the DC server so we need to permit DC clients to use DC resources we need to permit DC clients to use the DC web server we need to permit London clients to use that DC web server and we need somehow to keep London network clients from pinging the DC network and we apply that to the interface FA0 subinterface 1.2 on the DC router and then lastly we need to set up a London router ICMP access list this is a named ACL so we need to permit ICMP packets to go from the 10 dot network over to the 100 dot network but we need to deny IP access from the 10 dot network over to the 100 dot network we need to apply that inbound to the serial 000 interface on the London router which is this interface I've already done that I've done all these steps so if we can look at the London router we can go show AC this is our standard access list number 10 and then there's extended IP access list for ICMP over on the DC router and go show AC there's our extended IP access list 160 and 150 don't forget to deny IP any any keeps keeps other it restricts access to anything else that comes along and then we can take PC2 and see if we can access these servers we can also take PC1 and see if we can access these servers should probably work HTTP colon slash slash So let's do the 172.16.20.100. So we got the London. I'll try the 30.100. So we can get web access on either one of those. Now if we ping 172. Always covered it up. 16.20.100 we can ping nope we can't ping that we can't ping London server let's see if we can ping our DC client to the DC server we can ping that 
and this activity I can only get to 75% completion. And from here I'm going to call it good.